Hey, this is Driving with the Miles. I'm a state certified driving instructor. So let's go ahead and talk about this. I teach teens and adults. We're driving in heavy traffic in the morning. So let's talk about this. You want to keep a minimum of at least a three car space cushion. A space cushion is the space between your car and the other car. So I'm keeping that nice space. I'm aiming high, I'm looking ahead. You always want to read brake lights. You never want to tailgate. One reason why people get tickets and why people have accidents is because they are late. So we are all all human if you you should leave early right to get there at your destination safe so you don't have to rest so I'm maintaining good speed control we're starting to get on the uh, expressway now so you're gonna feel the energy pickup does this mean you drive reckless no this means you drive at the speed limit you stay safe you maintain what you're doing you're gonna see cars not using blinkers you're gonna see cars tailgating the one thing you can see that is consistent in my videos I keep space. If you're a beginning driver, you're taking your DB test or road test, and a beginning driver is someone with less than 10 years of experience, or if you're over 45 or 55 years old and you need a refresher. So I'm maintaining good speed control. I'm going with the flow, but I'm not tailgating. You have to scan left, middle, right. Always be aware of what other traffic is doing. So you're maintaining good speed control. The white car ahead of me is definitely tailgating the van. I don't tailgate. That's a pretty good lane change. Uh, vehicles making lane changes. They're checking their mirror and blind spot, hopefully. They're accelerating through the lane change. And a lot of beginning drivers do not accelerate through their lane change. So your car will drift. It will lose speed. You always want to maintain adequate spacing. You want to go with the flow. You will be marked down if you go over the speed limit. Typically, beginning drivers go plus or minus five to seven over or under the speed limit. I'm maintaining my good speed control. I'm maintaining good space and I'm checking my mirrors. Always check your mirrors every eight to 15 seconds. You have to know what's going on behind you, around you, and beside you. So I'm maintaining good speed. I'm not tailgating. The temptation is, is to jam that gas, get on top of a car and force them to go faster. That's not what you wanna do. You wanna be smooth because you can control the space in front of you but you can't control the space behind you. So I'm maintaining good speed and space, and I have a smile. The car behind me is maintaining good speed and space, and I'm smiling. No one ever wants to be tailgated, because if you're tailgated, your mind is gonna be on protecting your backside than what's in front of you. So I'm maintaining good speed right now. I'm going with the flow. I'm taking my time. I'm nice and smooth, and I am patient. Again, I'm scanning. I'm looking ahead three or four cars. You constantly have to look ahead. I've started my first uh, driver's ed class and I challenge my students to increase their knowledge. And you as my subscribers, I wanna challenge you. You are the next generation of drivers who want to be great. I want you to be great. You have to be great. We have to get better every single day. So let's kinda uh, go ahead and arrive at our conclusion. You wanna maintain good speed, and have good uh, space and can have good speed control. You wanna always look ahead of you. You wanna scan in front of you as far as you can. You wanna check your mirror like this car that's kind of drifting to the right. I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. Um, and I need you to subscribe to my channel. You find this a value, give it a thumbs up. We're gonna be putting out about five to seven videos today. And I will be going live uh, this evening at around 7 p.m. I want to say thank you. This has been Driving with the Miles. I love you and be safe.